On Monday, a day after a harrowing recreational vehicle accident, a South Hadley fire captain hiked into the site of a night-long rescue. It was here, up a trail off Pearl Street in South Hadley, that an all-terrain vehicle carrying six people tumbled over a cliff. Captain William J. Selkirk of South Hadley's Fire District 2 described what rescuers found when they arrived early Sunday after being summoned by a 911 call. Well, we had two people on arrival that were up top sitting there. Uh, one of them was complaining of a head injury, the other one was complaining, chief complaint with uh, rib injuries. And they told us there's three more over the embankment. Well, sure enough, we looked down and we estimated about 500 feet down is where they were. And actually turned out they were about 550 feet down because uh, we set up a repel line and a couple of our guys, there's one paramedic from District 1 that was there and one of our guys that is good at repelling. So they repelled down to that site and they're actually 50 feet beyond that. We had three, uh, 500 feet of rope out. Selkirk says the search and rescue effort was the most elaborate he's seen in 30 years with the South Hadley Fire Department. And the uh, backboards, when they started showing up, the guys walked all the way around this way through the woods to get to them, where isn't it as steep? They went the long way, and they brought them back up that way also. Actually stopped shivering, so. And, uh, so they were getting to the point they had to get to the hospital soon. That's kind of a race against time for us to get everything done so remote, that was the problem. But everybody did a great job. Some of the injured fell onto narrow ledges not far from the top. Others, however, dropped further down the hill. An environmental police investigation into the accident continues. For GazetteNet, this is Don St. John.